Welcome back to Bulldozer Crafts, boys and girls. Today is day three. And today we're going to be using metal. Metal's used a lot in construction because it's strong. And today we're going to use metal or tin foil to do a craft that shows you the cross. Why do you think the cross is so important to us? That's right. Jesus died on the cross to take away the punishment for our sins because we were worth it. Jesus chose to do this. When you do this craft, it's going to help you remember that looking at this cross, Jesus loves you and he loves you enough to die on the cross and save you from your sins. All right, boys and girls, as you have already seen, we're going to be working on this cross and tinfoil picture and I'm going to go through the process with you because it's a little bit involved, not as involved as the keychain you did if you did the keychain but we're gonna go ahead and show you how to do that because there is no instructions with this one. So each of you got a little packet that has a little envelope on it, a piece of tin foil, and a cardboard picture with a cross glued to it. So you're gonna take off your tin foil and your envelope. And inside your envelope is a string, okay? You're going to need some glue. Again, if you want to put it in here and use your finger, you can do that. So you're going to put glue all over the outline of the cross, and you're going to put it on your little lines here, okay? Then you're going to take your string and you're going to glue your string around the outline of the cross and on your little lines here. And when you've got your string glued on, you're going to take your tin foil and you're going to lay it over the string. And I'm going to show you back this one again. You're going to push your fingers in and trace the string with your fingers as you put your tin foil on. And then you're going to fold the tin foil over the sides of the cardboard. Now I will say it is easier if you put your string on and let the glue dry a little bit. It won't slide around as much when you put your tin foil. So you might want to do that and then just let it sit for a little bit and then you can put your tin foil on. Then after you have your tin foil on, you can take markers and color any way you want. It is your picture. You can trace it. You can make it a stained glass cross, kind of like what I did, or you can do whatever you wish with it. 